Today on Review This Thing, we're going to test five different 20-gauge turkey loads out of this Remington 870 and Indian Creek Choke. This is Robbie with Review This Thing. Hopefully you saw us do a lot of turkey load testing last year before turkey season. Most of it ended up being 410 loads and 28-gauge loads. So we decided we needed to get the 20-gauge in on the action. Today we're going to take five different turkey loads and shoot them through this Remington 870 Burris Fast Fire 2 Red Dot on top of it with an Indian Creek choke. First up is gonna be the Fiocchi Golden Turkey. Let's go take a look. So it looks like that load might shoot a little bit high and left compared to what that Fast Fire 2 is sighted in for, but still looks like a really good pattern. You can see, like I said, whenever I first looked at it, it's a little bit high and left. Um, Still got a few in that turkey's head though. So if you've watched any of our testing, you know that we usually do a six inch circle and a 10 inch circle. The 10 inch because that's kind of standard, the six inch because the turkey's head is not 10 inches. Adrian changed her mind in the middle of the circles over here in case you can't tell. The six inch circle on this one, we've got 125 pellets and the 10 inch circle, we've got 262. Next up is the Federal number nines. These did really well out of one of the rectifier chokes that we shot last year. Watch that video to see those results. All right, here we go. From here, it looks like that one shot a little bit high also. Maybe it's just me. We'll go look at it. So that is not a bad pattern, but it's really kind of hard to see from this target because it all did shoot quite a bit high again. Hopefully you'll be able to see a lot better in the circles. Once again, you can see high and left. Um, that one is not sighted in for me. That's a fact. Got 89 pellets in the six inch circle and 187 in the 10 inch circle. If you've got some federal loads, make sure you go back and watch that rectifier video that we did because those chokes are bad to the bone when it comes to federal loads. And next, we're gonna shoot verdict. These are nine shot also. You've probably seen in several other videos, these have done really well. Hoping that this combination with the Indian Creek choke will show us some really good results. So I'm just gonna go ahead and aim just a hair bit lower than I've been aiming. They came in just a little bit lower helped. That looks like a really good pattern right on top of that turkey's head. I might need to aim even just a little bit lower. Either way, that is a lot of shot right there on that turkey's head. Still a lot of it up above it. If I was sighted in for this load, I would definitely want to move it down just a little bit, but let's go count them. A little bit better pattern. You can see the blue through the target. Let me turn it around for you. In the six inch circle, we've got 139 pellets. And in the 10 inch circle, we've got 286 pellets. This was definitely a good load for us with that Indian Creek choke. Before we move on to our next load, after you finish this video, make sure you check out ReviewThisThingTV.com, sign up for our weekly newsletter, and check out all the stuff we got going on. And the next one is going to be Apex Ammunition. These Apex number 9s are probably what we've shot the most with this Indian Creek Choke and 870 combo. So let's see how they do in this test against the rest of them. It looks like a really good pattern, though. We are all over that turkey's head, and I'm loving it. Probably should have somewhere along the way went ahead and adjusted this down, but it's all right. The good news is this paper is catching it, and we're still going to get the patterns for you guys. Again, I shot a little bit lower and definitely seemed to look a whole lot better, at least on the target. Let's look at the circles. In a 6-inch circle, we've got 144, and in the 10-inch circle, we've got 281. Last in this load testing today is going to be Pendleton Ammunition. This one was new to our testing last year, and it did pretty doggone good. So looking forward to see what it does with this Indian Creek Choke combination. That one packed a pretty good punch. It looks like a really good pattern from here, too. So I did aim a little bit lower on that one. I'll be really interested to see what the count is on this one because this looks like a lot less flyers. I don't know. We'll see. That's a really good pattern and a lot of shot in that turkey's head. 
This one did really good. Seemed like there was a lot less flyers on this one. In the 6-inch circle, there's 135, and in the 10-inch circle, there's 282. And there you have our Remington 870 20-gauge with the Indian Creek Choke pattern testing video. You know, one thing that we found with our testing is that most of these TSS loads shoot really well. A lot of it just depends on the combination. Your gun with a different choke may shoot even better than what we found today. As for these results, I wouldn't hesitate to go into the turkey woods with Pendleton, Apex, or Verdict. Hey, thanks for watching our TSS turkey load testing. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Please hit subscribe so you won't miss the next ones coming out. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. Of course, review this thing TV.com. And don't forget to check out our hauler store and our Amazon store. Thanks for watching.